Yidi, just Final three answer. matches, and she's lost one of Lalo. those. Wong Man Yu actually has a better record than her here in Busan, but it has been the world number two who gets the nod in the quarterfinals. And she is intent on picking up the mantle laid down by Chun Meng and Sun Ying Sha. But Shin Yubin says, I'm also here to play. Yeah, technically the Korean number one playing at the position three in the team here, so it's exactly the kind of scenario you would want your number one coming into. One, two. Ooh. That was a spectator sport for Shin there. Wong rips this. Quick over the table there, Shin Yu Bin. I think we've seen that as a tale of all of the players so far. Not afraid to serve long, allow the other player to attack, and then trying to come in, counter with backhand or forehand. Three, two. Very strong there from both players, Wang Yidi. Just too wide in the end. Really good placement there. Two four. Scooped a little too much. Four two to one, you did. But Shin Yu Bin looks good out there as well. She always has that quality of looking quite relaxed and. and Tell us a little bit more, Gavin, about the importance of, of staying loose. It's this term often used here as a table tennis player. Yeah, I think she's also got a level of calmness about her, Shin Yubin, that we don't often see, and especially in this kind of scenario, 2-0 down in a World Championship quarterfinal. She looks like she's out there in a practice table. 3-4. Seems to be a player that embraces nerves and embraces pressure situations. Yeah, the decibel level a little higher in here than uh, in the practice hall. Taking to it very well. Four three to one. Five three. And just a little nod there from Shin Yu Bin. I think she was happy with the tactic, happy with what she tried to do, just not the execution. We are ready to play. Ah! Six three. Stunning cross court rally between the two. Everything seems to be in the backhand corner so far in this game, Jack. She has got a brilliant backhand though, Wong Yidi. Power she can get off that punch alone. Yeah, and so often in the women's game, dominated by quick rallies over the table, backhand against backhand. And both players putting it on display now. Six of the last points there for six of the last eight points for Wang Yidi. He's the form player at the moment. Nine four. She's come out in typical style. 
Wang Yidi that we've seen from her two teammates. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant backhand from Wong. She did well to stay in that rally as long as she did. Shin Yubin looked over quite a few times. But in the end, Wang Yidi just too strong with that switch. Six game points. Great serve from Shin. What was she putting on the ball there, Gavin? Just quick, quick and heavy topspin straight into the Wang Yidi backhand. Watertight from Wang Yidi. She takes the first game. And Shin Yubin, as well as she played, experiencing what every Korean player has felt so far. The onslaught from the Chinese is most impressive. So 11-5, Wang Yidi wins it. Let's head over to table two. Have a look at what's going on over there. Our other live table. Nguyen Jaan of France is on match points and taking it for a 3 2 victory. France against Germany. So the first match went the distance, as we can see here. 51 minutes in order to do it, so they were at that for a long time. France women following on from what the men achieved earlier today in their victory over Portugal Nine. there through to the semi-finals. First time that France have done that this millennium. So we'll endeavour to keep across uh, action from table two should it become relevant. Second game. And right third. here, Love the relevance is that Chinese have done exactly what they so often do, and all the hopes around this that this Korean team could get into them as yet, they haven't managed to. Ah! One. And Gavin, whatever happens in this match, uh, uh, and maybe Korea can come back from two games to love down, two matches to love down to win it, but you cannot fault the preparation for this Chinese team. They've come out in every single game and played impossibly well from the very first point. Absolutely. I don't think either side has, uh, has really, well, especially the Korean side, they haven't let themselves down at all here. They've played the right tactics at all times. It's just completely a sense of how formidable and how strong the Chinese women's team are. They're just absolute brick walls. Backhand punch on point. Yeah, the Shin Yubin received there, just creeping a little bit too high over the net and providing an opportunity for Wang Yi to play that little punch. Another rally dominated by backhand to backhand there. And just when the opportunity arises, Wang Yidi around the corner with her forehand. Four, two. Handling Shin serves well, that choice to go long again. It uh, undid Wang Yidi in the first game at one point, but she's live to it there. Five, 
mistake there from Shin Yu Bin. Taking a risk and going over to the forehand side with her backhand. Gives her an opportunity to play that really well angled flick. Followed up by an unforced error, unfortunately. Seven three. Feels like Wong's finding the parallels so easily and, and yet still somehow playing low or relatively low risk table tennis for the majority of the time. Yeah, she's in total control here and just, she seems to be able to switch the play so quickly and, and like you say, but so calmly at the same time. And the power she's got can just blow an opponent away and in that point, at least it did. And look at that, 12 of the last 16 points have gone the way of the Chinese lady. 3-9. It doesn't take long for a game to flip on its axis. Nice Chiquita flick there from Shin Yu Bin. Dropping that in. But 3 9 down. This is metronomic from Wong Yidi. Seven game points to take game number two. And she continues in that vein of form. 11-3 from Wang Yidi against Xin Yubin in game number two. The Chinese are looking imperious right now. 11-5, 11-3. And Xin Yubin come back in game number three. So game three, how does Shin Yubin stop the force that is Wang Yidi right now? She hasn't really shown us any, any weaknesses or any signs of slowing down Wang Yidi, so to be honest with you, Jack, I actually don't know the answer. Well, let us see if Shin can. Very honest of you as well, Gavin. Uh, I must say. That's because I'm not sure there is an answer, Jack. That might be the case. Oh. It's so good to watch Wong Yidi in rally. She's well and truly putting behind the disappointment of the group stages. Oh. Three. Interesting that Shin Yubin is still opting to serve long almost every time now. I don't know if that's a, a tactic that she wants to employ because she's afraid of something that, that Wang Yidi maybe will do with the short receive or it's how she wants to play. Ball off. Time out. I often say that the women's game is so often about speed, but Wang Yidi is bringing so much power to this performance as well as speed. And Shin takes the time out. Let's 
저희 조직을 이렇게 해주고 연결할 때 조금 미들 보면서 빼고 빼주든지 마직스 이걸 좀 하다가 했거든 미들 좀 빼다가 빼고 빼주든지 또 대면 또 화로 빼주든지 그거 좀 대합을 좀 잘해야 돼 그렇지? To it. Has it helped quell the momentum from Wong? Yeah, good start from Shin Yubin after the timeout. We've had our translators on the case as well about um, what was said between Shin and her coach, and mixing it up was the order. She did so there. Yeah, very strong again. It's exactly what you will have wanted after the timeout. <laughs> Hasn't been many backhand to backhand exchanges that Shin Yubin has got the better of Wang Yidi, but two in a row. Stop. No flashlight. Momentum is building. Staying light on her feet, Shin, in that rally. Adjusting so quickly. <laughs> Just a small mistake slight miss hit and Wang Yidi's there to punish just stopping that little momentum run that Shin Yubin was on to she has thrown her right back into this game and see now just as you said Jack there if, if that was the advice to mix it up she's definitely doing that Varying where she puts the receive every time now, just causing a little bit of trouble for Wang Yidi. Oh, that's top class. Everything seems to be following this same pattern of whenever three points in a row are, are taken out of this match by the Koreans. Whoever's at the table for China just goes to another level, finds another gear. Let four, six. <laughs> four, seven. Of course, it's not new that, Gavin. You know it's going to happen. But it's nonetheless still impressive every time you see it. Yeah, exactly. You'll never get tired of seeing those kind of points. They are mentality monsters, this Chinese team. Seven, five. Just a little misjudgment there from Wang Yidi, stepping around to take the backhand. Wasn't really on that time. Offering everything they can to Shin's course. It's just a little bit like the last game that we saw. Late momentum charge in the third set. Oh, that's lovely. Another great flick to the middle. Offering up at Wang Yidi, offering Shin Yubin up a chance. And she's taking it again. Brings that forehand into play. Gets her awards. Seven all. 
Chun Ji Hee had chances in her match with Chun Mung but didn't take them. Can Shin. Oh. There's always a reaction. And with Wang Yi Di, the reaction is quite often case closed. Point one. I'm moving on. It's almost like every time Shin Yu, win, Shin Yu Bin wins a point or two, it angers Wang Yi Di, and she's just so ferocious there. Good there. You can see the benefit of the long serve coming in now after having changed and served a little bit more short. Finally, we get to see the advantage serve long, and a mistake comes from Wang Yidi. Yeah, and another. Shin Yubin doesn't dare. Off for a smile, not yet. Well, there's no doubt that the crowd want to see more anyway. <laughs> that they want this game victory more than anything. Wong Yidi again says no. Just that placement with the backhand, a little bit wider to the Shin, out to Shin Yu Bin's backhand. She's not quite ready. Presents Wang Yidi a chance. And of course, she steps around. Nine each. Been there, continue being caught Wang Yidi by surprise. Here not opting game point. Not opting for the speed that time, opting for spin. And six of the last eight points have gone the way of Shin Yu Bin. Building up momentum, and here we are at game point for Korea. To juice for Wang Yidi. And as you so often say, Jack, Wang Yidi says no. Yeah, she's good at that. Good at getting your hopes up and dashing them. Can Shin refire the boiler here? Oh. Oh. Class dismissed this time. It's incredible how quick she is there. Stepping around under the forehand side just to take that backhand punch on. Slightly unorthodox, but lovely in execution. Match points for Wang Yidi and also for the tie for China. She's done it. Wang Yidi closes things out against Korea Republic and Shin Yubin's hopes fade away as do the hosts on the women's side of the draw. They are beaten at the